Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. All right, we're gonna do another episode of Bites and Nibbles with Breck today. Today we are going to pre uh, prepare chicken and sausage stew. This looks really good. Now a lot of times with recipes, if it's not something I've tried before, I have to just kind of look at it and say, you know what, I like all the ingredients in this, so let's put this together and see if this turns out half as good as it looks like it's gonna be. Let me show you the ingredients. All right, these are the ingredients for our chicken and sausage stew. First off, you can't have chicken and sausage stew without chicken and sausage, so we got a little of that. We got some elbow macaroni, uh, some tomato sauce, some crushed tomatoes, some bacon, uh, garlic, parsley, and a little fresh oregano. Now this recipe is going to take a little longer to prepare than usual uh, because there's a lot of like sub processes that need to be done. So I've actually started fairly early. It's about three o'clock and that should get this thing ready for about dinner time. Let's get going. Now we're going to start off with my Dutch oven and we're going to boil about four pounds of chicken. Now the recipe specifically calls for you using a three to four pound whole chicken and do that. I decided to go with uh, chicken breast just because that's kind of, uh, you know, you're gonna get a little bit more meat out of that and I think I'll like the results better. So let's get all that into the Dutch oven. Like I said, we're gonna bring it up to a boil. We're gonna drain off the fat that's in it and then we're gonna simmer it for uh, 30 to 40 minutes. So get it all in there, all nice and covered. And we're gonna turn on the heat to high. We're gonna bring it up to a boil and then we'll go from there. Catch up with you in a few minutes. All right, we brought it up to a boil. I'm gonna lower the heat to a little bit about a medium high and I'm gonna skim off the fat here because we don't want that. So now that I've got most of the fat off of it, um, I've lowered the heat as I did before, as I told you before, and we're gonna put the cover on and we're gonna let this simmer now for 35 to 45 minutes. And while that simmers, we're gonna move on and we're gonna prepare the sausage. So I'm preparing the sausage. This is a hot, spicy Italian sausage. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of pierce the skins a little bit because when it cooks, uh, this stuff tends to, uh, if you don't pierce the skin, it'll break out and it'll make a mess in there. So I'm just hitting each one of them a couple times with a fork. Probably flip them over, hit them on the other side too. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in a uh, good sized saucepan and we're gonna boil them too. You can hear my Dutch oven is boiling over a little bit. Gonna reduce the heat on that a bit. And we are going to put our sausages in a saucepan. pounds of them. I'm going to cover this up with water and we're going to bring this to a boil too. Alright, so we're going to bring that up to a boil and uh, let it do its thing and we're over overflowing a little bit in here. That sometimes happens. Uh, have a little bit of a mess to clean up, but that's okay. We'll keep lowering the heat a little bit and hopefully that will reduce a little of the boil over. I'll catch up with you in a few minutes on the uh, sausage. All right, I've completed boiling both my chicken and my sausage. I've got the chicken separated right now. I'm actually gonna hold on to some of the chicken broth that's left over because we're gonna use that later on in the recipe. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain these and then we're going to put it on a skillet and we're going to brown them just a little bit. Now while I'm browning the sausage, I'm also going to cook some bacon, uh, about six strips of it. I only got five in here, but that's all that would fit in here. So we'll do that 
over a couple phases. I might actually put a little bit more bacon in here because there's not much not made better with bacon, right? All right, so I've done a little prep work behind the scenes. I took the chicken, cut it up into bite-sized pieces. The same with the sausage. Uh, ground up the bacon, turned it into little bacon chunks, and I've retained about five cups of the chicken broth that we boiled the chicken in. Because we're going to start that off. That's going to be our base uh, once we get going again. But before we do that, we got to saute our garlic. And so what I've done is I've taken a couple of cups or a couple of tablespoons of the bacon grease, put it into a little fry pan here, and we're going to saute our garlic for a few minutes. Mmm, it's starting to smell really good in here. It smells like garlic. Garlic makes almost everything a little better, doesn't it? Alright, now we're going to kind of mix all my ingredients in here. And so I'm going to start off with my garlic, my chicken broth, my chicken, my sausage and my bacon. Now I'm going to kind of just stir this all together a little bit and we're going to bring this up to a boil again. We're going to let it simmer for a while and then we're going to add in the rest of this stuff. This is going to be good. Oh and I forgot I've also added the oregano and the parsley. I've given it just a good little stir. Kind of got basically everything kind of in there coated. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up to a boil then we're going to lower the heat a little bit. We're going to let it simmer covered for about 10 minutes and then we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. All right we've uh, cooked this now for at a kind of a slow simmer for about, about 15 minutes in this case. So I think we're ready to go on to the next state. What we're going to do is we're going to add our macaroni. We'll have to get the rest of that out of there. But we're also going to add our tomato sauce and our crushed tomatoes. We're going to mix that all together and get that in there and let that simmer for a little bit longer. Yeah, sometimes I got to put the camera down because you need more than one hand to, to stir some of this stuff. But that is looking pretty good, isn't it? I can tell you, I was halfway thinking about doubling the recipe. I'm glad I didn't. I don't have enough. Wouldn't have enough uh, room in the in the pot to do it. So we're going to bring this up to a boil again. We're going to let it simmer for another about ten minutes, and uh, then this thing's done. Looks good though, doesn't it? Holy cow, does that look good? All right, ten minutes have gone by. Oh man, does that look good? Let's get in there and stir that a little bit. Kind of make sure we got everything kind of mixed up in there. Yeah, that looks yummy. And we'll obviously we'll freeze a bunch of this and be able to eat this uh, over the next couple of weeks. That definitely looks like a keeper though, doesn't it? Look at all that. All right, so this is time for the for the taste test. This looks really good. I garnished it a little bit more with a little bit more parsley on the top. And of course I got my old uh, standby, a big glass of milk. We're ready for that. So let's give this thing a ta taste test. If it tastes half as good as it smells, this is gonna be great. Get a little, little pasta in there too. Yeah, this is really, really good. It's got all sorts, it's got flavor all over the place. Um, the, the, I think the thing that's really giving it the most flavor is the sausage. I'm really picking up the, the, the flavor of that. It's got a lot of good spices in it. This is really tasty stuff. Uh, sometimes, you know, you get tomato sauce in there. It maybe doesn't have enough tomato flavoring into that. That is not a problem. This thing's got flavor all over the place. Uh, so highly recommend this one. Uh, check it out if you're interested. I'll put it in the uh, description below for the recipe and you can check it out. Until then, I think that's all that I have for today. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Bon Appetit.